funny. Wait, hold on. Let's move help. it. Do you need help? Do you need assistance? I mean, always. Mm-hmm. Thanks. This is mine. Yeah. Okay. This is yeah. like four keep, shots of whiskey I'll keep in here. this over here. Yeah, these are the, like quite strong. I'm getting there. I think I got like one left. Oh, this is this is enough for two episodes. Honey. Yeah, I, that is. I still got worth the money. Hunting. It is worth the money. I still gotta finish moving my kitchen, but it's very little, so it will be good. Yeah. Oh, are we recording? We oh, are, we, we are, are recording. recording. We are. <gasps> Okay, what accent okay, was that? Oh, we are recording. <laughs> we are recording. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You, you haven't done an accent in a while. I know. It's uh, can I we start? It. Can we start this in accents? <laughs> Hello. I want you. Um. Hey. What's up? Hey. You know who you just reminded me of? You know how those like Billie Eilish like very soft spoken like you hey. know like those. What's up? Yeah, that's what you just reminded me of. <laughs> <laughs> DTM. I am Amanda. <laughs> and I'm Jennifer. And I am the captain of the ship. <laughs> yeah. uh, my not shirt has more rips. I am the captain. Yeah. <laughs> you know what would be nice if you were not wearing this underneath? You know, you and, like, can't spell like captain nipples. without Anna. If you literally think about it, <laughs> you can't spell captain without Anna. That's it is true. 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 If you remove the two Captain A's Anna. And Captana. Captana. <laughs> <laughs> You can't spell without A and A. Welcome back to Dick Talk and Mimosas, where we talk about Captana. Captana. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna get like a Captana. We we way. bring you episodes where we're fully drunk already. What yeah. are we drinking? We are drinking. Oh God, I almost dropped this. <laughs> uh, camp craft cocktails. Yeah. Uh, I am drinking the old fashioned. Ooh. Y'all are drinking the hibiscus, hibiscus ginger lemon, lemon oh. vodka. It's very vodka. refreshing. It's you are refreshing. drinking vodka. Vodka. Yeah, so basically, you get one of these, you go over to the liquor fountain, you talk to the liquor daddy, and you're like, yo, hey, hook me up with one of those campfires. Yeah. And he's like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Quiet. No one's supposed to know about those. Okay. We don't have a lot left. You gotta buy them quick. They're almost gone. Mm-hmm. And he's like, here, I got one. You just pour some liquor in there and let it sit in your fridge for three days, and then mm-hmm. you're gonna get wasted on this shit. Yeah. Like, yes. This stuff will get you drunk. It does. It's, it's very delicious. concentrated. Oh, we should probably explain why I look the way I look, though. Oh, oh yeah. Because oh, yes. we are <laughs> playing Back to the Future right now. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Jennifer, what's this on your nose, I see? I have a cast on my nose. A cast, you say? A cast. A cast of what? A cast of <laughs> bandages. <laughs> <laughs> a penis <laughs> cast? I mean, it's not a penis cast. Can you imagine if I had a penis nose? I now have a penis cast on my nose. <laughs> I, I, I had septorhinoplasty on Monday. Mm-hmm. So she was born You look three nostrils. way better than Monday, though. I don't know if you've gone back and watched the previous episodes where she has three nostrils, but they fixed it. Now yeah. she has two. I have two nostrils now, thank you to my surgeon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I couldn't breathe out of my nose for a long time. Which is... How how do you even function? I would be so angry all of the time. I was it was I was a mouth breather, and I hate to admit that, but like I literally couldn't breathe through my nose, mm-hmm. especially when I slept. It was really bad. I was like, oh, oh, it was bad. Hey, baby, you want to hit this? Oh, <sighs> it made it especially difficult to give blowjobs because, as you know, when you're giving blowjobs, you're oh, going to your nose. Wait a minute, you need and to I, breathe. And I love giving. My boyfriend below jobs, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, I was like, "Hey, I gotta fix this so that I can." I gotta come up for air. You gotta, you gotta give me. I gotta give you a blow job through my nose, cause then I gotta breathe through my mouth. So. I literally had to like hold my breath when giving a blow job, and then come up for air, and then go oh back down. Oh my god! Like a whale. Did you did you ever have to do like a like a little snorkel thing so that you could like breathe <laughs> while you were giving blow jobs so you a could get snorkel? air? No, I never yeah. did a snorkel when oh. I was giving a blow job. But it sounds like you have one. I haven't. <laughs> But I want to try now. It sounds like you have. Yeah, goddamn. So no. I went to the VA about a year ago before COVID, and I complained of not being able to breathe through my nose. They're like, you're fine. They're like, cool. Let's try like Flonase or some shit. So I tried Flonase for a few months. That didn't work. Let's try ignoring it and see if it goes away. Yeah, mm-hmm. I love, you know, VA healthcare. Um, so then I tried like, you know, breathe right nose strips and just other non-surgical things. Mm-hmm. And finally, you know, uh, after COVID, they were like, like, I'm going to murder someone if they don't fix this. I mm-hmm. need to give blow jobs and breathe <laughs> and so it's important finally, i finally went back this past february uh right after the covid was you know i was already vaccinated 
And they're like, all right, let's let's schedule the surgery. So I just had the surgery, and I'm excited to finally be able to breathe again. So here I am. Oh yeah. We yeah, can't yeah. wait to hear about the first blowjob post oh. surgery. Oh my god. I can't wait to I can't wait to give it. Yeah. I can't wait to give it. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be fun. Well, they said I'm not allowed to have any physical exertion for a week after surgery and by the time this airs it will have been over a week so we'll see yeah I she's mean, still got leftover painkillers so she's gonna deep throw i all mean day. you can still yeah. have sex you know he can still put his dick in your vajay yeah just yeah. I mean, be gentle you could put it in the butt you uh, have painkillers well i don't really do butt stuff mm -hmm. um <laughs> but i am seeing the boyfriend tomorrow so maybe we can like you know slip one in Slip it no, in. Maybe not in the mouth, you know, just yet. Yeah, no. Because I'll just have just my little baby off. kisses. Yeah, I'm getting mm -hmm. my cast off tomorrow, mm -hmm. so by the time this airs, it will be off, and uh, hopefully I can, you know, uh, okay. put it in my mouth. We'll yeah, see. and if you haven't been on our Patreon yet to see our fun photo shoots, you should see the oh nose cast photo shoot. They it's fun. So, I think they came out really good. <laughs> it's yeah. hilarious. So They're what's really this fun. episode about? <laughs> It's about body issues and images and self things. No. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just self image and body. And, you know, it's a weird world we live in where people fucking tell you what you are supposed to look like and how you're supposed to feel about what you look like. And mm -hmm. it's ridiculous. And we live in a society that, you know, dictates yeah. to the masses what they should look like. Dick tates. And Dick I have something to say. Dick tates. Dick Yes. Dick -tate. And very quickly, I will have something to say about that before you say what you had to say because I saw that I just interrupted you. <laughs> uh, all of the times that someone has told me that I would be prettier if I lost weight or whatever, it has all been men. Oh, Of course. Oh. Yeah. And let me guess, are they all fat men as well? Um, not all of them, but I feel like they just felt entitled to like make that mm -hmm. comment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's gross. gross. Can we a collective? Uh, <sighs> no, what was the first one we did? Ew. Or what ew. No, ew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so when I went to the VA in February to finally have the, you know, meet with the ENT specialists, the ear, nose, and throat specialists to talk about surgery, um, this was after a year of, you know, going back and forth about, hey, I can't breathe through my nose. And so, so I, yeah, so I meet with the, I meet with the, the specialist and he said, okay, so what is your goal with surgery? To oh breathe, you fucking piece of shit. Yeah. I looked at him like, well, I want to be able to breathe through my nose. Mm -hmm. um, that's why I've been coming here for the past year trying to get appointments and get the surgery. Thanks for serving <laughs> our country and allowing me to be free. Why do you want to <laughs> breathe through your nose? So, right. <laughs> so then, you know, he, he. Uh, you know, I, I also said, well, I'm also an actor, and so I don't want to like change my look too much um, because, like, I have headshots, and like, this is this is how I look. Like, I like yeah. the way I look. I'm mm -hmm. not here to like have plastic surgery, you know. Mm -hmm. um, he's like, okay, well, that's good to know um, because if you want it, I could uh, remove the hump on your nose. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and you know, I and I said. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> let's remove the hump on my nose. I do too. I, I'm almost certain I broke my nose as a kid and I have this sharp, sharp angle on the side of my nose. So in addition to being able to breathe again, they went in and they like, you know, Shoot they made it, it. So it's going to be like flat mm -hmm. and it won't be as humped. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I guess if you're going to go in, I mean, yeah. I might as well be a little cuter. Um, so yeah. What the f you were already... <sighs> Yeah. Jennifer. No, I no, I believe me, I like the way my nose looked, but yeah. I'm like, you know what? He's a fucking Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. Plastic surgeon who just has to surgeon. surgeon. He's a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon who just happens to come to the VA to do like to help veterans. Yeah. I'm like, so that he can have a good conscience about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm like so I'm like, of so course, he can I'm get like, a picture well, in I'm, the newspaper. Yeah, if you like I'm like, yeah, I wanna be, you know, yeah, do whatever you think is right mm -hmm. yeah i don't know it was so weird but yes so society pressure i've told the to doctor no uh yeah. i had which i've never had any like surgeries and in, in my opinion I, i've had my wisdom teeth out and i don't feel like that really qualifies as much of a surgery mm -hmm. it doesn't. but i was going to get my wisdom teeth out 
And the oral surgeon was like, uh, so we can do something about your smile. And I was like, what? What do you need to do about my smile? Fuck. He's like, you know, like when you smile, your like top lip goes away. We can give you a bunch of Botox up there since you don't have an upper lip. And I was like, no, I'm oh. good. And like, I was so fucking angry that I literally, and I should have just opted to not have this person as my oral surgeon, mm-hmm. but I was like, no, nah, I'm going to stay awake. Like, I, I'm going to keep an eye on you. <laughs> so I didn't go under. So I like, <sighs> that's brave. Yeah. I cracked all my teeth out of my face with me awake. But I also wish I had your confidence because I am one of those people that I feel like I'm so easily persuaded by like what people say you to me. You think I need more? Okay. Yeah. You just reminded me of something. Um, a few years ago, I went to have my underarms lasered mm-hmm. um, because I didn't want to have to shave my underarms. And I bought this I like 12 month package where I could mm-hmm. get it once a month and just be completely hairless under my mm-hmm. arms. And I went in and the first few times I went, the person at the front desk, she kept trying to upsell me. Mm-hmm. She was like, hey, so I noticed you have some melasma. Are you a mom? Wow. Uh, what? Uh, what are you mm-hmm. talking about? I said, no, I'm not a mom. She's like, oh, because I noticed you have melasma. We could laser that off if is you that? want. We could, we could take care of that for you. You just have to buy this other treatment. And I said, no, no, I'm, I'm just here to have my underarms laser. Thank you. And then she's like, well, you know, if you want, we could have, you know, your whole body done. Uh, then you wouldn't have to worry about shaving or anything like that. She's calling you She hairy. just kept going and trying to poke and prod at my uh-huh. insecurities. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, you know what? No. And you know That's what? After four, after four sessions of, of her trying to upsell me, I never went back. And they got my fucking money for 12 months. I was so pissed. I never went um, back. I mean, I would have said something because I work hard for my money. I but I was going to say... Um, because when you said how she said something about like, oh, you must be a mom or whatever. I mean, I think I've might have mentioned this before, but I've had a lot of like weight issues. And one of the things that has happened to me twice is when someone has come up to me and they're like, oh, congratulations. When are you due? Because, you know, like of oh, that like, little like boy the or whatever. Bullshit. You're not allowed to ask that even if they're literally giving birth in front of you. Yes. <laughs> I'm going into labor. Why? Yeah. So, <laughs> what? You're pregnant. What? Yeah, so no that's way. like Never one of the, that's one of like the main reasons why I had liposuction. When was this? About four years ago, which was very painful, by the way. I don't think I. Oof. But then I, I was awake too. Oh I god, to that option. I don't know like how normal. liposuction works, honestly. Um, so basically, they just go in and suck out the fat, and you can hear, you can hear the. They the make like obviously <laughs> don't you make an in suck. And an instruction, an incision. <laughs> yeah, and I, I mean, you might like. I'm sure you've seen him on the pictures because one of them is on like my belly button or whatever. But like that was one of the main reasons because it's like okay, I'm already insecure, and my body type because of ugh, I take after like my dad's side of the family and everyone's like pretty obese, so we don't have this like tall, lean, like locking, uh, looking body type. So even if I have, even if and I'm petite. I'm like 5'2". So five yeah. pounds on me seems like a lot. But where do I gain it? Like around my waist. Mm-hmm. So anyone like making a comment about that would just like freaking send me. Mm-hmm. And the thing that happens too is that I think I mentioned this before. But all the comments about my body and the way I look, most of them have been by men. Like I have lit- and I mentioned this before. I had a, a guy who was a model that he said, well, if you want to continue dating, you know, If you want to continue dating me, like, you might consider losing 5 to 10 pounds. And I was 110 pounds at the moment. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean. The last time I was 110 pounds, no joke, probably was sixth grade. Yeah. I was 19, and that was after 16 weeks of Marine Corps boot camp. I had Mm -hmm. a four-pack. That was when I was 100, like, 15 pounds. I've definitely Mm -hmm. been 120 or more since middle school. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's been, like, an ongoing battle, but... And then, of course, last year, the thing that, like, you know, like, we talk about, like, body insecurities or whatever. So, last year for, um, what's it called? For 2020, for COVID, I gained 16 pounds in quarantine. But, lucky for me, I found someone that is, like, I think you're the hottest shit ever. <laughs> so... Well, I did that too. <laughs> but also, like, 
I feel like there's so much emphasis on looks and like we talked about this it's not just like for guys like when we say like you know you, you know short men are, are good or you know like mm -hmm. adapt bots are okay like mm -hmm. you know girls having a little like you know spare tire it's okay too you know if she can suck a dick you know, who cares if she has three nipples? Right? <laughs> Can she suck a dick? Yeah. Will she get nose surgery to suck your dick better? Right. That is the question. I mean, that is like wifey material right there. <laughs> <laughs> there, are, yeah. there are so many societal pressures to look a certain mm -hmm. way because Photoshop, because we've got Instagram models who yeah. look literally perfect mm -hmm. and, you know, guys follow them mm -hmm. and they ogle them and we look, we compare ourselves to that. Like, yeah. oh, she's got a perfect, the perfect breast. we got the perfect butt. She's got mm -hmm. literally no sign. But that is all you fake. Gotta, you got to keep in mind that is Photoshop. That is people who had surgery, like, you know, to look a mm -hmm. certain way. Mm -hmm. Have, I mean, there are, of course, people who look like that naturally, but it's very, very rare. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, it's unrealistic. Um, it yeah, doesn't look that way. Yeah. yeah. And we're not saying that we should like knock on the people that look like that naturally no. because there are some people who have fucking banging bodies. Yeah. Like Amanda's ass, which is 100% oh, real. So good. But I mean, why, why is it their fault that they're born perfect? You well, know, it's and, not. So we shouldn't knock at that. I mean, but we no, also I mean, shouldn't I'm praise not... the ones that use like Photoshop and filters and like mm -hmm. overdo it. But you know, I am a sucker for that because I get my lips done and I have my boobs done and I have liposuction and I will probably um, get Botox uh, once I start getting wrinkles. And if I could afford it, I would probably get a BBL. Oh, BBL, which is a Brazilian butt lift. Yeah. Can you explain what a BBL is? I didn't know what that was. <laughs> you didn't know? No. It's basically when like they suck the fat out of like other areas of your body and they inject it into your butt. So there's been speculation, probably, it's probably confirmed that the Kardashians have had BBLs, Brazilian butt I lifts. I mean, they have. they're very unreal, yes. Yeah. yeah. 100% real. But I was going to say BBL is the, uh, considered the most dangerous surgery to get done because of the high mortality rate. Oh, Really? But that's the thing that I'm talking about. The fact that it's it has the highest mortality rate and people are still fucking doing it. Because oh that's God. how that it's super dangerous because if you hit like nerves and like um on your butt, like you can like bleed out and die. Oh my but god. I don't do wanna do squats. So can you just suck fat out of my body and oh my inject god. it in my butt so I don't yeah. have to do anything to have a butt like an athlete? Thanks. I, I just learned about BBLs this past week on TikTok. <laughs> they were they were talking about this uh unphotoshopped image of Khloe Kardashian that was leaked mm. and she was very upset that it was Oh leaked my god. She she I only posts her. photoshopped images and this mm -hmm. one image that just happened to be unphotoshopped got leaked. And she had to, you know, have her lawyers remove it from every other website. And it's so unhealthy because we, this is what we look like. Like we, there are, it's normal to have cellulite no. and rolls and Did you read like about that. her response though? What did she, she say? She said that it was, um, she was basically blaming the public for having unrealistic expectations of her body. <laughs> We're like, bitch, How you're the one who fucking did that. You're the one who... It's so fake that gets all these surgeries and does all these filters and you put it out to the masses because they have a massive following, like mm -hmm. all the Kardashians. So you're, that's like projecting, like basically yes. taking no responsibility. Yes, she's did. like, she's like, oh, the public's expectations of what I should look like made me do this. It's like, no bitch, you put these fucking expectations. You're the one doing this. You're the one doing this on like millions of people that follow you, that feel like they need to look like you because of you know your surgeries and how you look mm -hmm. i oh mm -hmm. I, I cannot stand the Kardashians. I, I can't i will say that what a person chooses to do with their body is more more power to them if you want to have surgery to look a certain way mm -hmm. oh yeah do no it, do whatever you want but please be honest with yeah. how you achieve that look yeah. because there are a lot of people who are like no i never had botox i never uh -huh. had lip fillers i never had surgery this is all mm -hmm. natural yeah and it's just you know, you've got little girls out there looking at like, oh, she looks Why like that naturally. Yeah. Why yeah. don't I look like that? Yeah. But I mean, I had to do something to look a certain way. I mean, obviously, I don't mm -hmm. look great right now because of mm -hmm. like I'm recovering. Mm -hmm. But I also had breast augmentation a few years ago mm -hmm. because I all I'd grown up looking at the magazines mm -hmm. and I'd always wanted breasts mm -hmm. and I always wanted to fill out a dress. Which mm -hmm. is great. Power and, to you. And you know what? Yeah. I love them. Yeah. I love them. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad I got them done. Yeah. Um, but, but you also someone, don't go around lying about no, no, no. them. No, no, no. If someone asks me, um, you know, hey, like, are they... I'd be like, no. I, I got augmented yeah. about a decade ago. And if I ever hear someone, like, comparing themselves in any way 
to me, like, oh, I wish I were like that. I'd be like, honey, these are paid for. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, that this there's there was a reason why I look like this. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just want everyone to be open and honest about how they look the way they look. Mm. Yeah, about anything. Like, yeah. you know, it's like, oh, you got a nice tan. It's like, oh, thanks, I paid for it. Or like, oh, nice lips, thanks. I get fills every six months or whatever. Mm-hmm. I can't stand people who like pass it off. It's like, oh my God. I'm so naturally hard. like this. Yeah, or like I work really hard. Or like this is one thing that Instagram is like very like popular for. The girls that have surgery, they look amazing and then they try to sell like diet plans oh. or like exercise plans. Like oh this God. is how I You don't my body. use this. Yeah. yeah. You're exactly. having lipo and then pretending like this diet or exercise plan is what did it. It's not. Mm-hmm. The waist trainers that the Kardashians would wear, they would wear waist trainers because apparently Bullshit. that's something that you wear after you get a Brazilian butt lift is you wear a waist trainer or lipo, like mm-hmm. you wear a yeah. waist trainer. Mm-hmm. But they would like market it like that's how they got their uh-huh. own last No, figure. it's called a plastic surgeon. Yeah. That's not how you got that, honey. Yeah. <laughs> I see yeah. through that. Yeah. But I will also say that also... You should be realistic, and this is going into, like, a same topic, but I feel like a lot of people like shortcuts, right? 100%. We live in a fast society. So Give it every, to me now. I so don't want to work hard. Like, I don't want to wait. Yeah, so they're thinking about, like, the waist trainers or whatever. And I haven't, like, told you this, girls, because, I mean, it's not, like like, a big deal, but I started doing this, like, diet app. Um, I'm not sponsored. It's called Noom. But basically, you're working with like um, psychologists on your diet patterns and stuff, right? Because I love working out. I love working out and I also love eating. But I was like, why am I working out and not like losing weight, especially after last year? Because I'm like, damn, I put on a lot of weight. But then one thing that we pinpointed is I'm an emotional eater. Obviously, when I'm stressed out, I like to eat because food is comforting. Mm -hmm. But also the fact that I would get mad because I'm like, well, I work, you know, it's like, it's been two days that I ate salads and I'm still not skinny. So that's one thing that I had to like, also like recognize like, okay, everything is going to take time. Like nothing will happen overnight. And I think I've been on the app six weeks and I've lost 10 pounds. So it's been like, a steady thing but it's also not overnight so everything like you can you can't do like any like changes overnight with like your body like the like you were saying like the mm-hmm. girls that want like the butts it's like yeah you can do squats and butt exercises it's not gonna be in a week but if you're consistent like you will get it mm-hmm. yeah and if you want to get like you know surgery like that's fine but again like you said like don't fucking lie about it right I can't, I can't stand that Right, and I think if we had like an open, honest conversation in society in general about, I mean, I think we're getting there, Mm -hmm. but I think just because I've loved photography and editing photos my whole life, I've been very aware, Mm -hmm. very aware of how magazines, TV shows, all of that shit is fucking doctored. I I do it myself. Like mm-hmm. I have fucking people asking me like, can you put my front tooth in or can you take <laughs> 10 pounds off of my body? Or... No joke. I want to know how you lost it no. first of all. <laughs> no, no joke. I had to edit a wedding photo. Oh my God. She it wasn't even a too. photo I took. I was editing for a wedding photography studio and I was making their like portfolio books. So like if you are a new bride and you come in, you're like, I was looking for a photographer. They show you their books of all their uh-huh. photographers and all their work and everything, right? And I was the one editing that shit. And I had to edit people's crotches out because they're sitting like a guy in a short dress. Uh, I had to edit all sorts of crazy okay. shit. But yeah, one Do of them. Do you have to edit like camel toe or something? Like that? Yeah, and I, I, like I said, I had to edit a bride's front tooth in. I had to like oh put a front tooth in on a bride. Oh no. I don't know what the fuck that was about because I obviously wasn't there. I just had to edit the photo. But like my point is, is I've had to edit a lot of crazy shit and I know exactly how this all works. So for me, I'm like, you know, whoever it is that you idolize, let me show you some real photos of this person. Let me show you some real photos of this person in not studio lighting. Yeah. And then they're going to become real, real, real quick. But I was going to say, going back to the comment you made about your cousin, uh, the one with the lip incident. Yeah, yeah. How we were saying that, like, 
this was a wedding photo so obviously like someone looked past the missing fucking tooth oh yeah into like her heart or vagina let's face it <laughs> and saw like that looks were not everything and this was a wonderful person to, uh, a, like a person to like put a ring on yeah. and like you were saying about your cousin how she looked she sounded like a sasquatch or whatever yeah. and that someone put a ring on it yeah because obviously like you know the looks didn't matter and none of anyone's like like let me speak some truth to anyone out there listening mm -hmm. right now 50 years from now your looks don't matter either no one's fucking looks matter yeah. no one's looks matter yeah unless you're planning on dying at 25 years old when the, when you're in your prime mm -hmm. no one's fucking looks matter yeah so who are you really and don't get so fucking hung up on what you look like. Yes, take care of yourself so that you are being the best version of yourself. But don't get like fucking lost in like the only redeeming quality you have as a human being is what you look like for other people. Yeah. And we made this comment like so many times. Mm -hmm. And again, be with someone that's going to be like make you laugh and make you feel good or whatever. And I made this comment like earlier to you girls like... Will has like a fucking like eight pack. So when we started dating, I was like, oh my God, he has like a perfect body. He's like amazing. And like the way he talks to me and he like worships me, it's like, it makes me forget about like how I look because he's not looking at that at all. He doesn't make comments on it. He's always like building on like my, you know, inner qualities. So, I mean, that's how I should be like with anyone period. So, because I've been, I don't know if you girls have had this, but like, I don't know if you've been in like relationships where someone is like, oh, maybe you shouldn't eat that or oh, like, yes, you know, things like that. And you're like, but I, I want to eat it. And they're like, oh, you shouldn't, you know, oh, I have a very quick story. And mm -hmm. I, I, I've mentioned this uh, on a previous episode. I'll just reiterate very quickly. Mm -hmm. I was dating a toxic narcissist a few years ago mm -hmm. and we were in a restaurant mm -hmm. and he made a comment about my eyebrows. Like he didn't like the way my eyebrows looked. And I started crying in the restaurant. And he also made dis disparaging comments about how my hair looked or something. And he just made me feel so low about mm -hmm. myself. To this day, I'm always going back and forth about, should I microblade my eyebrows? Should I get them done because of that mm -hmm. one thing that that asshole said seven years ago? Yeah. But I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. I, I like the way I look. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to let someone's dumbass comment make me mm -hmm. feel like I'm not worthy of love. He was an asshole. Mm -hmm. So if you're not with someone who makes you feel like an absolute king or queen, you're mm -hmm. not with the right person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's it. Concur. Yes. And that also goes for friendships too. I think there's been situations where friends have like also made comments. And this all ties to the other episode that we just did. But anyways, <laughs> um, there's been times where like friends will say that too. Like, oh, um, do you want to go to like the gym or something? You ever had that happen? I, maybe I've just had like shitty people in my life. <laughs> well, I don't think no. necessarily inviting someone to the gym is a bad thing, but I think if someone makes a comment that makes you, you should be going to the gym, or like you need to go yeah. to the gym, and that's where you need to draw the line. Like, hey, mm -hmm. like I like the way I look. I'm mm -hmm. fine. Like, worry about you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but that's what I'm talking about. Like, if you're not confident and secure, like it also makes you like doubt yourself. Like, yeah. Why do you insist on taking me to the gym? Like, what are you not telling me? <laughs> so, I don't know. For me, I think, yeah, though. I think, yeah, if you just own who you are and you're confident in who you are and, like, recognize that this world is beautiful because everyone's different and as long as you're taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. whatever that looks like for you, if you feel good about yourself, then none of everything, like none of that other shit matters. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's there's a part of me like, okay, I'm the odd one out in the group. Like between not only you two, but like I have like five or more other friends that are augmented. And sometimes mm -hmm. I'm like, maybe I should be. I'm like, nah, that's what that like that's what makes me special. It's like I'm not, and mm -hmm. I don't care, and I don't need to. And like if I want to, that's fine. Like I'm also not like I can't, mm -hmm. but I don't I don't need it to compete. I don't need it to right. be complete. Mm -hmm. Like it's like it's fine, and mm -hmm. I I hope that everyone is able to come to that place in their life at least at some point where 
everything you are is who you are and you're proud of it. Like I, I would say when I was younger, all the time I was like, I want to dye my hair. I want it to be bleach blonde like all the other girls. Because mm-hmm. when I went to high school, everyone fucking bleached their hair. It was stupid. And to you this look day, like a Playboy bunny. To this day, I've never dyed my hair. Wow. Because I wow. like at one point was like, no, I like my hair actually. Because I, I started to register like, all these girls are dyeing their hair the same color that my hair is. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I just decided like, no, I like I like the color of my hair. I like the fucking shape of my body. I like the texture of my skin. Like, there's things that I do to take care of it. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, I'm noticing I'm getting cellulite on my legs. Maybe I'll do like mm-hmm. a little like sugar scrub on my skin or yeah. something. But it's to take care of myself, mm-hmm. not just not because I'm trying to mm-hmm. be someone else. Yeah. So, but I was gonna say also, I feel like people forget that, like they they forget about like realistic expectations. And one example that I have seen in social media is like for example, like Serena Williams. She's a fucking athlete, one of like the best in the world, and she has cellulite. Yes, and she works out probably like every single day of her life. It's her profession. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. And she's a pro, and she still has cellulite. Why? Because the bodies. It doesn't matter what you do. (laughs) Sorry, my cat is screaming right now. She's going crazy. She has something to say. Guys! (laughs) What what, what she wants to say is that everyone is perfectly imperfect the way they are. Yeah. Whether they have hair or no hair. Yeah, she's a little hairless kitty. She's like, guys, I got something to tell you. All the other cats have hair. I don't. Yeah. But um, what is he saying? Oh, yeah. So Williams has cellulite. Yeah, so that is the thing that people forget that like our bodies are gonna like do whatever the fuck they want. And like for example, like when you do squats, when you lift weights, like things like that, your body is growing, so it's stretching, so you get stretch marks. Who has stretch marks? I do. I mean Yay! most like supermodels do or whatever. But like point is like remember that your body is you know, it's like when you're like trying to build it however it is that you want to build it whether you're shrinking it or like making it smaller like you can't expect it to like look the same you know what i'm saying so yeah goes for men and women everybody is worthy and lovable as they are Mm -hmm. if you choose to do something to your body do it for you and no one else Mm -hmm. and tell me you don't know anyone whether it's a celebrity whether it's someone in person whatever you don't know a single soul who doesn't have the societal definition of a perfect body who is sexy as fuck because they are confident as fuck because fuck you and your fucking norms and your fucking like directions on what I should look like this is how I look and I love it you fuckity fuck and they're sexy (laughs) as fuck tell me you don't know anyone like that yeah no you're like you're right 100% yeah and that's the thing like don't be ashamed of like like for example like you know body hair or whatever it's like um yeah your body grows hair um uh, because um what's it called uh or uh, i forget the name but anyways it was for uh environmental <laughs> reasons you know like when the earth started or whatever in like the age of the dinosaurs and whatnot <laughs> You had hair to protect yourself from, yeah. you know, like They're the winter. Cavemen. <laughs> Thank you. From Magnum. Thank you. No, it's like a lot of it, like, remember that it's like, okay, like we had hair on our bodies to protect from, you know, like the cold and the heat. And a lot of like our body, you know, the way we look, it's, you know, because this bitch is causing oh, a ruckus in there there's a pussy in the other room that was causing a <laughs> riot getting wild. a pussy riot if you will <laughs> a pussy riot. i think that's like her way of like telling us to wrap it up fucking wrap it up yeah, jesus you fed her right <laughs> yeah oh lord uh, but anyway i uh, love you love yourself please yeah, love you, love you mm-hmm. and on that note uh, we would like to thank our sponsors. Yes. Mm-hmm. Our liquor daddy at the Liquor Ooh. Fountain, 5203 Fountain Avenue. Mm-hmm. This camp, what is it called? Camp, camp, camp cocktails. Craft cocktails. Yes. So good. I want to go to Joshua Tree. They're bring one of these drinks. You get them at the Liquor Fountain. You can go to 5203 Fountain Avenue. They're mm-hmm. on Instagram at the liquor fountain you can also download their app if you would like to have your booze delivered these little things are really cool these camp craft cocktails they come in so many different flavors 
you just fill them with booze, you let them infuse in the fridge for about two or three days, and then you have eight to 16 drinks that you can enjoy. Um, they're super good. And if you wanna go directly to their website, cantcraftcocktails.com, it's super good. Check it out. They're really strong. They're good. And mm -hmm. if you don't get them now, they're going to be gone. And you're going to be sorry because, let me tell you, uh, I already know there's a limited supply. So mm -hmm. get yourself some before it's too late. Get them while you can. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> Diff. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And our patrons. Hey. Our patrons and on Patreon. Our patrons on Patreon. Yeah. We would like to thank you for being the best patrons in all of patron much, land. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much to all of our patrons, our supporters. If you want to become a patron, you can go to the link in our Instagram bio. It's called Patreon. You can get lots of exclusive perks, early access to episodes. And by the way, we have some merch coming very soon. <gasps> yes, we're working. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Check it out. We're working on that. Oh, I just remember I have to tell you girls something about that. After this stops. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> goodbye. Bye bye. Go suck some dicks. Meow meow. <laughs> she, she's a... Oh hi. Ah! Ah! That's me right now. Ah! I like when she does the little like monkey sound. Like. <laughs> you know what you sounded like that? Um, is it disturbed? That oh what? Oh, oh no, system of a down. System of a down. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, down of the anyways. sickness is disturbed. Wait, is that the song? Oh, oh yes, down of the sickness. Down yes. of the sickness. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> anyway. Oh. Anywho. Oh, what are we doing? Okay, it's recording. Hi, we're recording. Is that how you can flip jumps? <laughs> Wait, no, that's how Jen gives blowjobs because she's a mouth breather. She can't breathe. <laughs> she can't breathe through her nose and she's like, <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> yet, yet. <laughs> Maybe a few days. Uh, Hello, welcome, DTM. We would like to tell you that our. This is like a DTM short. DTM shorts. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> DTM panties. Mm -hmm. um, so. It is our liquor daddy's birthday this month. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can't have a birthday without celebrating. Mm -hmm. No, you can't. It's impossible. No, like you gotta celebrate. You have a day of birth, you celebrate that. It is your day. It is your day. Mm -hmm. So, in honor of our liquor daddy, mm -hmm. uh, if you go over to the liquor fountain, and guys, what are our rules? We just came up with them like on the fly. So. If you go over to the liquor fountain and you make a purchase mm -hmm. and you post that purchase on your Instagram stories and, and tag us, of course, tag us, mm -hmm. DTM and the liquor fountain. And then, uh, yeah, you have to follow us, follow the liquor fountain and then tag two friends in the comments of the post that we will post. And once you do that, mm -hmm. you will get a special gift, a special gift. Mm -hmm. What would it be? Ooh, it's a surprise. Who likes surprises? It's a surprise. I like surprises. I like yeah. surprises. Yeah. I mean, it might be a picture of my vagina. It so could be. It could be. It That's be, a surprise. It won't be a picture of mine, but it could yeah. be, it be mine either. either. It could be. It could be. Yeah. It could be. <laughs> We're open to the that possibility. That might be the surprise. We are open to many possibilities. It could be a yes. close-up of her nipple. It's we don't a, know. It's a very big opening. I will pluck my nipple hairs that day just for that close up we are way open all the way open for yes. possibilities it could be someone's chocolate starfish we don't chocolate know chocolate starfish <laughs> we don't know We're, it's a surprise it's a birthday surprise it might yeah. be celine's chocolate starfish oh, no i'm just kidding it won't be oh, it won't be that true. at all but this is all oh. to say happy birthday to our liquor daddy so mm -hmm. once again like and follow this post Follow uh, the Liquor Daddy. Follow us, obviously. Go to the Liquor Fountain and purchase something. Tag us and the Liquor Fountain in your Instagram story. And we'll make an Instagram post yeah, just with follow, the details. Yeah, with follow the clear, instructions. concise <laughs> instructions. Because follow we've been drinking all day long. I'm empty. We've been drinking. We don't know what we're saying anymore. Other than go to the Liquor Fountain, buy just all the Just follow directions. Yeah, go to yeah. Liquor Fountain, buy all the liquor, wish them, wish wish our liquor daddy specifically. Mm -hmm. A happy birthday, 
Come look on, at our post, follow the directions, directions whatever the fuck you. those directions might be. Yeah. And find something special in your hands very soon. Oh, yeah. 5203 Fountain Avenue. The liquor fountain. That's it. I have nothing else. <laughs> glug, glug. Glug, glug. Glug, glug. Bye. 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 Glug, glug. That's hilarious. <laughs> yes. Wait, where are we? Can Is you make your tongue touch your chin? Uh-uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I kind of did it. I kind of did it. You know what? My tongue right now. I had a lot of hey. time. <laughs>